good. As long as it's in those curly, like the top curly is better, way better. So it's good. We're going to harvest uh, soybeans. So the big uh, machine that you saw was the combine and attached to that combine is like the header which gathers all the crop into the combine and then what I'm going to be driving is the tractor and buggy. When they are uh, harvesting with the combine, it gathers into the combine and then they dump it into the buggy here and then I'm going to dump it into the big truck. So I'm helping out uh, with some farmers today so I thought I would take you along on a little farm day. I've done this before but it's been a while so I'm kind of a little rusty on it but I'm just following their lead and just helping them out. I'm taking my quick lunch first. Um, so since it's the fall uh, you can't start harvest early in the morning because it's still too wet with the dew and the moisture so we wait a little bit later which is around lunchtime, which is right now. And yeah so we'll keep on going till we get all the harvest done. 
So right now I'm doing soybeans and then later, end of October, November, that's when the corn harvest is. So maybe I'll do another video on that. But today is the soybean harvest here in Ontario, Canada. And I'll take you guys on uh, um, the day of working as a farmer. As you guys see in most of these videos, most of the equipment that they use is John Deere brand, uh, which I use that with lawnmowers. So I'm kind of familiar with the John Deere equipment. So it's pretty cool just to use that again. Um, driving the tractor is a little bit different. Um, have to get used to the clutch and just like little gears here, but I think I'm doing okay. I'm just following my cue and just following where the combine goes and what I'm being told to do. <laughs> this farm is pretty big, uh, has a quite few acres. I'm not sure exactly how many acres, but it definitely over a hundred acres. So this will definitely take uh, the full afternoon and maybe even another day to get it all harvested and collected. The area that I live, there's lots of farming community. Uh, where I'm surrounded by, so this is really uh, common where I live, and I'm kind of used to it. I grew up living in like the country life, so I know what it's like, and it's a busy season for the farmers, so really appreciate them and what they do for the country, gathering all the food for us, and yeah. And just a reminder, just to be respectful for equipment, tractors, when they're on the road, or when they're moving from field to field. I know sometimes it can be annoying as they drive slower. They do want to drive safely to the field, so just be cautious whenever you see large equipment on the road and just be mindful of them as well. But yeah, let's get started on this video and let's get started on a day in the farm. dumping um, all the soybeans into the buggy here on the tractor that I'm running so it, it was fully filled up into the combine and he's unloading onto me and now he's going, he's going back out so he dumped the load right here and then he's going back out so he's filled up and then he'll dump it back into the buggy here as well 